the Barabbas in this morning time. So Matthew chapter 27, verse number 11 to 27, I will read. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You have said so. But when he was accused by the chief priest and the elders, he gave no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the feast of the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. And they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew that it was out of the envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent a word to him, have nothing to do with the righteous man, for I have suffered much because of him today in dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for a Barabbas to destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. And he said, "What? Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. Hallelujah. This morning time, as I already mentioned, I'm going to preach about... Uh, a character over here basically called uh, Barabbas. When we, um, the red passage basically, during the time of this Passover, you know, Jesus was under the trial, at least of six court, five courts, you know, he stood, you know, the first court was Annas, then Kayafa, then Sanhedrin, then again back to Pilate, then again Herod, then on the sixth time, he went back into the pilot court, uh, which is called Gabada. 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 That is called the pilot court. And as he was standing uh, in the pilot court, now pilot is uh, questioning Jesus Christ. That's what. That's what we see over here. But at the same time, we see there is a new character. Uh, uh, he, he, we see over here. His name is called Barabbas. Hallelujah. So, who is this Barabbas, basically? So, let me point out a few things so that uh, you will understand who is this Barabbas. The Matthew mentioned on verse number 17 that uh, he was a well-known prisoner. Prisoner, Probably somebody can flip my message. Oh, yes, thank you. Yes, um, well-known prisoner. You know, Matthew chapter 27, verse number 16 says uh, he was a well-known prisoner. That's what uh, oh, we see. At the same time, Mark chapter 15 says that Barabbas was in a prison with the insurrectionist. Uh, insurrectionist means uh, um, he was a uh, he was a fighter. He was uh, fighting for uh, for a, for a reason. And um, you know, uh, I will explain it what is that then again it comes again Luke chapter 22 verse number 19 says Barabbas had been thrown into the prison for an, the same word, uh, insurrection in the city, and uh, he was a murderer. The John 18, verse number 14 says, Mar Barabbas, uh, Barabbas has taken part in an uprising. In some other translation, the, it's mentioned he was a robber. You know, so these are the you know most the four gospels basically mentioned who was uh, who was basically Barabbas, and uh, hopefully you got a slight understanding of uh, who is Barabbas at this moment. At the same time, um, according to Josephus, uh, you know, the second century historian, he talks about uh, the next page, that talks about uh, Barabbas. It is mentioned uh, that uh, Barabbas was the one of the leader of a zealot who began to emerge as a religious political movement around the beginning of the first century AD. So I'll, let me explain it a little bit. This is a kind of um, a group uh, uh, emerged on the first century. We know Pharisees, Sadducees, or uh, Herodians, Essenes, uh, 
scribes uh, you know all these groups uh, you know uh, you know uh, other than these groups there is a group called the zealots everybody says zealot all right zealots is a kind of a group it was a political and a religious movement which uh, began on the first century ad and they strongly opposed uh, roman rule um, and uh, turned on everyone including other jews who cooperated with uh, rome basically you know um, you know they used to attack uh, the the jewish collaborators those who work with uh, the uh, roman regime you know you know when you understand the context of this passage basically in a century now uh, the, the jew uh, the, the jewish people the jewish people under the slavery under the bondage of uh, the roman regime basically and they have you know they impose a tax on the jewish people and they have to they pay the tax to the uh, to the caesar and uh, they are under the uh, the regime under this uh, under the bondage of uh, the the Caesar at this moment so there is a group uh, uh, emerge over here which is called the Celts uh, and they wanted uh, to uh, to um, uh, free this government uh, no free the Jewish nation basically so that that movement which is called um, Zealots uh, and they you know uh, you know when you study the history of uh, Zealots you uh, the, the, the Zealots the, the movement which is uh, begins in uh, basically in Galilee um uh galili and uh, uh, there are a lot of things so which i can say but uh, lack of time i don't want to go further with that but uh, uh, there are a couple of uh, things uh, they used they used to you know sell it. there is a another group uh, uh, which is uh, uh, basically uh, among the sellers uh, that group uh, which is called um, um, let me find out um, all right uh sikari 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 means uh, sikari is a, in a in a hebrew understanding sikari is a kind of knife they used to keep a knife under their cloak and uh, you know they go into the public uh, you know and uh, you know they stab the you know their victim and they just you know uh, it's a kind of a uh, uh, terrorist movement you know basically jewish people they, they these are the people they give us so much uh, things for the world basically most of the advanced uh, advanced uh, you know technologies you know you know most of the things uh, what we are experience at this moment even including this mic uh, most of the inventions uh, originated from uh, the jewish people at the same time uh, the word terrorism the word terrorism basically emerged from uh, jewish people especially the celts if you you know in the wikipedia or google just google it you can find out the celts they were the first uh, terrorist people uh, in the jewish world in the in, in the world actually they trying to uh, you know they wanted to kill uh, uh, the people especially the roman um, uh, the, the romans and uh, the people those who supporting the roman uh, rule basically and in this morning time um, i was you know i was trying to um, say this morning time barabbas was a kind of a select uh, you know select he was one of the leader of a select uh, you know this uh, group uh, which is called the uh, zealots actually he was one of the group leader and uh, you know he was a kind of a political leader or uh, he was a um, you know uh, he was a very prominent one uh, which uh, the people uh, basically knew him uh, even though the word uh, which is mentioned robber or a thief uh, or, or a insurrectionist uh, and uh, all these words uh, comes along with uh, uh, you know what they basically do uh, in the um, in the society so this morning time i was just thinking in this morning um this uh, her uh, the barabbas what basically barabbas what basically barabbas you represent in this morning time so there are couple of things uh, barabbas is representing in this morning time let me you know let me say those things uh, quickly and uh, i will finish it uh, very quickly so this first one barabbas representing the corrupt 
political system of this of the world actually so as i already mentioned he was a kind of a political leader and uh, as we mentioned in the mark uh, uh, chapter 15 verse number 6 uh, say 7 says uh, he was an insurrectionist or a murderer in luke says uh, he was a leader of the rebellious movement uh, and uh, john says he was a robber so you know when i say about um, politics okay okay let me let me go a little bit uh, slow so when i say politics the word uh, when it comes politics you know the word politics is not a bad word basically sometimes we think okay you know what we see at this moment it's it's something you know politics means uh, so much wrong things are happening sure sure this is a corrupted politics that is what what we see basically politics is not a wrong thing but at the same time this man was representing a corrupted politics basically i will explain when the next point comes uh, i will explain what is that corrupted politics next, next point go ahead next point yes barabbas was a uh, representing the man made kingdom of this world as i already mentioned barabbas was trying to establish a jewish world he was trying to establish a jewish world with uh, his might with his pride with his strength and his with uh, his violent uh, insur- insur- insurrectionist some priest lord and he was trying to establish a kingdom on his own and uh, he was representing a man made kingdom as i already mentioned you know politicians or politics is basically a, it's a very good thing because polit- politics or politicians they are the one who is actively involved in nation building you know if you study abraham lincoln or mahatma gandhi or uh, nelson mandela these people you know they they you know jawaharlal nehru you know those people literally they did a great job for the for their nations for their country for their kingdoms but the problem once it corrupted the whole systems get you know the whole systems you know get corrupted you know including india or including united states of america now when we think about uh, politics we understand the politicians they corrupt the system and um, this barabbas wanted to establish a kingdom on his own and uh, you know with his might and with his power but we understood we understood you know romans never allowed it because uh, they never allowed that because they were one of the most prominent powerful regime during those time especially when you study in that century you know romans uh, simply don um, take somebody or execute someone um or give a uh, crucify someone unless and, and you know unless they fight against the uh, roman regime and uh, now we know this barabbas <clears throat> not only barabbas the historian says along with barabbas there is a group of people especially the two thieves you know we we basically calls them as two thieves you know thieves because that's what it is mentioned in the bible but they were the gang members of uh, barabbas you know historian says uh, their name was uh, gestus and uh, um you know i forgot that second one desmas or something like that so these people were the members of this select group uh, they tried to establish a, a kingdom a free kingdom in uh, israel jerusalem but 
that did not happen this morning time probably you might think why am i talking about uh, barabbas or uh, how this barabbas is represent uh, with uh, my own personal life let me say this morning you know sometimes we try to make up our own kingdoms our own um, establishment with our own strength uh, and might but the bible says you know the bible proven that those establishment those things will never prevail but at the same time the bible says i will build my church the gates of the hates shall not prevail it this morning time you cannot build a church you cannot build a kingdom you can even if you build a kingdom that will not remain stay forever as i already mentioned even the roman example the roman government or babylon or greek those governments were the most powerful governments during those centuries but where is those powerful governments all you know everything has been everything has been wiped out from the face of the earth and barabbas representing a man made kingdom of this world not only that barabbas is representing a humanity this is the basic uh, thing which i wanted to point out in this morning time when you read uh, this verse matthew chapter 27 verse number 17 if you have a niv bible there are, you are going to get a new revelation you know if you open nkjv or esv you don't get it but if you have a niv there is a new revelation that you are going to get it in this morning what is that matthew chapter 27 verse number 17 the NIV translation says, so when the crowd had gathered, Pilate asked them, which one do you want me to release to you? Jesus the Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah. Barabbas have a first name. What was that? Jesus. Have you anybody... Anybody learned that in, the, in your Sunday schools? First time, right? Jesus had a first name, which was called Jesus the Barabbas. Now, two Jesus standing in front of Pilate. And the Pilate is asking to the crowd, do you want the Jesus the Barabbas or do you want the Jesus, the Messiah. You know, Barabbas itself, as I already mentioned, Bar, you know, Hebrew, you know, Bar means son. The, the next word called uh, Abba means father. What does that mean? Son of the father. Barabbas means uh, Jesus, the son of the father. At the same time, on the other side, there is another Christ is standing, the real Son of the Father. That's what I mentioned in this morning. Barabbas is representing you and me. We all are the sons of that Father. We might think the people of Jerusalem has taken this decision. What was the decision? They said, we need Barabbas and crucify Jesus. 
the Messiah. But that was not taken by the Jewish people. That was taken the foundation of the eternity by the Father itself. Because the Bible says, uh, book of Hebrew chapter 2 verse number 10 says, uh, in bringing many sons and daughters to glory, it was fitting that God for whom and through whom everything exists should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through what he suffered. Tande Putran Mare, Tejasilek and Arthuan, Tande Recha, Nigerwe, Kashtan, Ponga, Tiginana, Tiginavanaka, Yuktam and the Pida, and Nuanadi Aiturno. Praise the Lord. So Barabbas is representing you and me. Praise the Lord. We lost the glory in the Garden of Eden. And now, a Barabbas is standing. The Barabbas, the Jesus, the Barabbas, the, no, the other side, the Barabbas, the Jesus, the Messiah is standing on the other side. Praise the Lord. And the next word is not only Barabbas representing humanity, this Barabbas representing the substitutionary atonement. What does that mean? You know, Jewish people have a certain festivals. This incident happens during the Passover festival. At the same time, they have another festival which is called the Day of Atonement. During the Day of Atonement, what basically does in book of Leviticus, Chapter 16, verse number 7, I will read. Then he is to take two gods, the, who, the priest, Aaron. Two gods and to present them before the Lord. At the entrance to the tent of meeting, he is to cast the Lord for two gods. And one Lord for the Lord and the other for the scapegoat. Aaron shall bring the God whose Lord falls to the Lord and sacrifice it for sin offering. But the God chosen by Lord, as the scapegoat, shall be presented alive before the Lord to be used for making atonement by sending it to wilderness as a scapegoat. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now two sons of God. And now, praise the Lord. Just like uh, we read in the book of Leviticus. Jesus became the substitution or substitutionary atonement for Barabbas. He has taken, you know, what basically happened? The one God basically has to be, be slaughtered and another God will be free because of the other God. And this God will be sending into the wilderness as a scapegoat. Barabbas, send free because another God became propitiation of his sin. Let me conclude over here. We all were carrying this sin and shame and curses. And we all represent this Barabbas. We all try to establish our own kingdoms. Try to establish our own world with our might and strength. That's what Barabbas is always represent. But now there is another son of God who died on behalf of this Barabbas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all are representing this Barabbas. The humanity, the whole world, every sons of God, every daughters of God who is seated in over this place in this morning, we all 
or Barabbas. Praise the Lord. We are nothing. We are just a Barabbas. You know, when God sees us, when God sees us, we are imperfect. When God sees us, we are robbers. When God sees us, we are thieves. When God sees us, we are insurrectionist. When God sees us, we are just a, a rebellious people. Rebellious humanity under the wrath of, hallelujah, carrying the wrath of God in the, throughout the centuries. But now, this morning, Bible says, the Son of God became the, became the propitiation for our sin. First John chapter 2, verse number 2 says, Jesus Christ died on the cross as a propitiation for our sin. Hallelujah. He knew no sin became sin for us so that we became the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Shall we all close our eyes and look to the Lord in this morning time as we are going to celebrate from the Lord's Supper. This morning time we don't have anything to boast on ourselves. Hallelujah. Rather we have only one thing to cling on, His mercy and His grace. Hallelujah. We all represent this Barabbas. Hallelujah. We all carrying this pain and sin all throughout these centuries. Hallelujah. Sin of the humanity. Hallelujah. But on the two, 2,000 years ago, the Son of God who taken, who taken our pain, who taken our shame, who taken our sin at the cross of Calvary and given the free Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Free righteousness. Give the free redemption. Oh, made us the sons and the daughters of the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because he became the propitiation of our sin. Hallelujah. He has taken our sin. He became the substitutionary sin for us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For a few minutes, uh, shall we, hallelujah, open up, open up our mouth uh, and uh, remember what Jesus has done at the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit.